I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about the Rogue Wallet, why I like this wallet, why it's been in my pocket for the last nine months, and my opinion of it. I think it's a pretty darn cool wallet, and I'm going to give you three reasons why I think it's worth your money. Okay, so before we get started though, guys, have you subscribed to the YouTube channel? The reason I ask you to do this is because I put out these ghost videos and not everyone sees them, only subscribers get them. I usually pull them down within a few hours. The thing is, if you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you actually get the link and you can go and check it out. These are going to be unlisted videos and I don't want you to miss them. In addition, if you like the video, if you find it useful, participate, click the like button. Write me something in the comments. Do you notice that we actually respond to people in the comments? It's because we care and I want to hear from you. I learn from you guys and I try to get better. So, having said that, let me go ahead and pull out the Rogue Wallet right here. This is made in Maine, although they do have some that are made over uh, overseas, I believe, uh, at a lower cost. But the ones they have made in Maine are going to be a little bit pricier and they're pretty clear about that. But the company started in Maine and I spoke with one of the founders about this uh, about a year ago. He got me interested, maybe it was even a little bit longer. He sent me a sample wallet, started using it, and I'm pretty careful about things I review. I don't want to get in front of you guys an item that I wouldn't personally recommend or I don't think is worth your money. Um, but I have to say, this wallet is pretty darn awesome. Now, the shape of the wallet is a bit unique as you can see, but it's got this curve right here. The reason being is, and the number one reason that I like this wallet is it can be worn in the front pocket. And there's a couple great reasons for that. If it's in your front pocket, less likely to be stolen. You can just feel whenever someone's putting their hands back there, usually on our backside. I actually have a friend who deals with this sort of stuff in security and he was saying actually that yes, the front wearing wallets, simply because of the location, they're less likely to be taken and because thieves don't have as much experience pulling from the front pocket, they're going to have a harder time. And so, you know, that would be the coolest thing about that. In addition, because it's in your front pocket, it's not in your back pocket. And there are some people, I, I don't know, uh, I haven't read any research on this, but it is something that people recommend with a very large wallet. If you sit on it long enough on your backside, basically you can have uh, back issues. I've only heard people talking about this. Again, I haven't seen the research on this, but I'm going to say, you know, if enough guys are complaining, I don't want to push my luck there. So I like the idea of having a simple wallet that fits in my front pocket. And guess what? I also put it in my back pocket occasionally. It works fine back there as well. So you can put it in the front, in the back. It's up to you. Now, that's all cool. I like the whole that it's made to be worn in the front, the unique shape of it. But let's talk about RFID shielding. This is something I haven't seen too many people talking about, but go out there, do a quick search on RFID readers and what you're going to find is going to scare you. So credit card companies, they don't tell us if in our credit cards, if they put an RFID card, if they put an RFID card and you do not have RFID shielding, there are readers out there that somebody could be sitting out in a car next to a store that you're at. And depending on their range, they could simply pickpocket you right there. Pretty scary. And this stuff is happening. Just do a quick search. You can see some of the stories out there. And I really like that they've got shielding right here on the wallet. They, in addition, if you've got a favorite wallet and you just want a sheath, they will actually sell you an RFID sheath. But that the fact that this, that's already built into this wallet is pretty darn cool. And you can contact your credit card company. A lot of them are kind of all over. They won't really, many of them don't even know if you've got an RFID card in your new credit card. But I can tell you if you've been issued your credit card in the last couple years, chances are good that it does have this. So just that alone to me makes this wallet worth it. Now let's talk about the quality of the build. I've been having this and using this and uh, traveling with this wallet for the last nine months. It has maintained its shape, it's held up, and I've even received a couple compliments on it. I, it's very simple, very practical, and for that reason, I recommend the Rogue Wallet. Again, a great family company doing amazing things over in Maine. Check them out. I'm going to link to them down below. Not getting any money for this, guys. I simply think they're a great company. So go check them out. And if I was getting money, I, you know, by the way, you know, just to let you guys know, I will be doing more reviews. And it's something that I probably will have some affiliate system set up. Didn't have time for these guys to uh, set up an affiliate system, but I'm just going to recommend them because I think you guys are going to find this wallet neat, useful, and uh, practical. So take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you want more about men's style, 
You guys know I've got that free 47 page ebook over at realmenrealstyle.com. Check it out, grab it, get on the email list because when you're on my email list, you know what? I send you at least two emails a week full of solid information. And if I've got some offers out there, you'll be the first to hear about it. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.